people. So today we have our February breakdown. Um, today we are going to look at all of my bills that will be coming out due in February. And we also look at the cash envelopes that I have. Um, so if you all would like to see how I broke everything down, please stay tuned. Okay, so what I done was I went through my planner. This is planner is from Walmart, just a simple planner. And I wrote every bill that I have due. Uh, some are automatic withdrawals and some I pay cash with. So I went through and wrote everything down, wrote the amount down, everything like that. That's what I done in my planner. So in my little notebook, I went through and I listed all of my bills that are coming out. I have utility, valet, debit, debit, debt, <laughs> Hulu, phone, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Um, and then the cash envelopes, which these are in cash envelopes too. My cash envelopes, I have grocery, gas, eating out, spending. And then my sinking funds, I have emergency savings, debt, and vacation. So, um, the ones that are auto automatic payments or auto withdraw withdrawal, um, I went and put that on there. And so I put the exact amount in the in the amount category. I put the exact amount. Okay. So um and these Amazons, like this the first Amazon $14.95 is my Audible. I love it. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> the next one will be my cotton nail. And this is a subscribe and save cotton nail. And the 1587 is a Don subscribe and save. Okay. So I don't have any rent or anything at the moment. So I, that's not, I don't have that big chunk coming out. The biggest I have is the utility. So um, that is $16.29, the exact amount. And I budgeted 20, 120 for that. I don't know if you all like this, but I always go up um most of the time i round it to the nearest dollar in this case i went up a little more just you know so i have a credit for the next bill so her ballet is 47 dollars a month and we budgeted 47 this is the debt that's coming out and i have auto right here but i actually pay this with my prepaid card but i just went ahead and put auto beside it Hulu is exactly $5.99. I have my phone bill, this exact amount, and I rounded it up. And then, like I said, the Amazon $14.95 budget $16.37 because that's what will come out of my account. Same with the other two, the $23.92 and the $15.87. So I went through that, and the total amount came to 357.21. Okay. And so with my cash envelopes, grocery 150, gas 25, eating out 40, spending 60. So sinking funds, I have 50 for that emergency. Savings, I have 56. And I broke that down. Zaria will get 25 and mommy will get 31. Debt, I have 50, and vacation, I have 50, which totaled up to 205. So that's for February. Okay. And so I took the end of the month for January, which, you know, I just uh, released that video. If you haven't seen it, I will put it in a card or something. So the end of the month of January breakdown, they still do my bills. I have my phone bill and my Amazon, my Audible, which are both due on the 28th. Now, the Amazon is automatically taken out. 
So we have that. Okay, so these cash envelopes. Um, I believe I was moving too fast. Well, not necessarily moving too fast. Like I said, I am a beginner. So I didn't take the time to break it down all the way. So that's what I did today. So the cash envelopes, phone, we have 50. Utilities, we have 60 in there. Zaria has 15. Groceries have 150. However, I have already went grocery shopping. So it's um, 126 in there. I do believe I had to check that and see to make sure. But eating out, we have 20 in there. Spending, we have 35. Um, and gas, we still have that 30. Okay. So, by the last video, uh, this is what was left. This amount was left in the envelopes. So, this right here is what I need to add to the envelopes to have that bill covered for. So, then I knew I had to take out another 100 for that bill coverage. Okay, let's let's move on to that. Okay, guys, so we're gonna move on to the um, cash envelopes. I hope I'm not confusing you all. Um, so, let me bring my notebook back. So, phone, here's phone. Phone currently has, 50 in there. However, I need two dollars to get my bill coverage. So we're gonna add two dollars. So now we have that fifty-two dollars. Okay, so the next is utilities. Utilities has 60 in there already. However, we need 60 more to cover that bill, which as we see for the February breakdown, the utility bill is 16.29 and I'm budgeting 120. So I can have that extra coverage. So let's get utilities. I still need to put my label on there, y'all. We have 60. And we're going to get 20, 40, 60. So we have 120. And we're going to put that in utilities. So utilities is covered. Okay, next is Zaria. Now this Zaria is for ballet. Okay, Zaria. So currently, Zaria has in here 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She has $15 in here. So I need to add 32 in Zaria's. So we have 20, 5, 30, 1, and 2, okay, so Gloria has 20, 30, 5, 40, So Zaria, Zaria's ballet is covered. So that bill is covered. Okay, so we have eleven dollars left over. So here's gas, and we know gas has thirty. 
So I don't need anything else in gas. Um, I will have to travel some this week. So I know I will be using this. Groceries. So I know I went to the grocery store yesterday, but it was just a quick run. It wasn't my actual grocery shopping trip. So we do have 126 in here. So I'm going to add this 11 to this grocery list right here. And everything should be covered. Um, 1, 2, 5, 30, 5, 7. Okay. So grocery has a little extra. Um, so that is our February breakdown. Um, I realized that I went a little too fast. I didn't break it down all the way. If you're like me, I'm a paper girl. I'm a writer. I have to write everything down so that I can see it. So by doing that, I was able to see, okay, I'm missing something, you know. Everything's not covered. Um, so, yeah. And so for February, I have everything already down. I'm still debating on whether <laughs> this eating out and this spending need to be this amount. Um, it's kind of steep, but I'm still debating on that, y'all. Um, but yeah, this had me had a lot sitting down and going through everything and actually seeing the numbers. Oh, uh, yeah. So now everything is covered. <laughs> and what I'm going to try to do is each paycheck and put at least half of the amount, if not more, if I can, uh, in the cash envelopes. So, yeah, guys, if you all have any questions, if you have any tips for me, please leave it down below because I am a beginner. I am learning, but I'm trying to become better. So, yeah, I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, bye, guys.